Hello everyone and welcome back to Factorio Vanilla. This is a talk to Showboat. Today we are doing stuff. We are playing quickly. Ish. Ish. In case you had noticed. We're we're gonna be doing a thing. Today we're gonna be trying to get into automation. I hope. We're gonna make a few things. We're gonna see what happens. I need some trees for electric poles. There should be some down to the south. Have some have some energy. And RG. Let's let's head on down to the south and see if we can find anything. Uh, bear in mind that I did reset a couple of times after looking at the preview. Or at least once after the preview, I think. Because of lack of rocks, trying to find rocks. So, they're... The I don't know exactly the positioning of all of the trees ever. We have gotten that tech. The next tech to take is that one. Uh, to give the stuff and things. I will need to make the science for that. In fact, I should have just made the science for that. What am I thinking? That should be 20. Uh, and then... Make some of that. Oh, hey, it's iron. And copper. And stone. And trees! Oh my goodness gracious. We've done, we've done things. We've done things. And also, in, ca in case you had noticed... We may be attempting to do this with, uh, a few restrictions. Uh, s yeah. Let's, let's see if it'll be possible to do this without making laser turrets and without making any solar panels. Oh, boy. That's, that's gonna be interesting. I, these are three achievements that I do not have on Steam and would like to try to get them. All three. I I have my doubts, but you know what? We're we're gonna go for it. We're gonna we're gonna make the attempt. Good old good old try. We shall try. There's always value in the attempt. I very much disagree with the uh, concept of uh, do or do not. There is no try. I wholeheartedly disagree. Uh, in the very literal sense. There is a better, not as literal meaning, in that if you don't believe that you can, that you may, that you will not succeed unless you believe that you can. There is that sentiment behind that statement, but in the very literal sense, I think people do take that statement very literally. Um, there, there is always value in an in an attempt. There is always something to learn, even in failure. And Ollie is next to me, but he's not going to come say hi. Yes, he want, he loves he loves the pets. So good to know that there's all of this down here, down in this corner, as I make sure to continuously handcraft something. It doesn't really matter what I handcraft. I just need to keep crafting stuff. Whatever I can. As much as I can. All of the time. Uh, and it seems I have crafted some electric mining drills. This will come in very handy. Very shortly. Hmm. I mean, I will... I will regret not doing this. If I don't do it now. That's going to, that's going to help. A little bit. That's going to make stone bricks that we could use for something like walls or whatever else. Thank you for the copper. Make some more power poles. Take all that. Have some of that. Head on over to the science labs. Did I ever make a second? No, I did not. Have a second, please. Also, make a couple more thingies for power. Position 
power poles properly. I have to get used to the lack of squeak through ability here. We're going to attempt to do as much automation as possible. I need that there. I need that, that, that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick inserters there. I'm going to stick storage and assembling machines down there. As for other stuff, I guess I can have mining drills somewhere. Um, yeah, the pipes, I guess, will live here. That's a, that's one shifted from where I'm used to it being, because we don't have loaders in this game. Not in vanilla, anyway. Okay, let's grab that and that. Yay! Science! Logistics! Logistics shall flow! Now uh, we're gonna go down and then over. Uh, I need even more belt. All of it. Again, try to always be crafting. Now, world record for this game is like real fast for sp actual speedruns. I am definitely not a speedrunner. Let's make that perfectly clear right from the start. I am not a speedrunner, nor do I ever really plan to be. Not on this game, at the very least. But uh, yeah, I do, I do enjoy this game, and... I would like to complete some of the achievements for this game, and 8 hours is very manageable. That's how I will... That's how I'll word it. 8 hours is manageable. By the vast majority of people, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so. We need to transition into getting some electric energy powered mining going. Uh, and the way that we're going to do this, we're going to have this little type of setup here. And we'll do this in this orientation for the iron. Uh, I appear to need two more mining drills, at least. But there is a little uh, a, a, a way of building that I'm sure a lot of people are used to that I will continue with here, and that is based off of this concept where we have stone mining drills a central line or stone mining drills stone furnaces excuse me a central line and it looks a little bit like this just a little bit like this and it requires us to have splitters and a whole bunch of other stuff uh, i prefer to build exactly like this uh, and this will use three each uh, on the small electric poles. What is the next tech that I will take? Uh, bear in mind that the eight hour limit is simulation time and not actual play time. So in single player, when you're on the tech screen, time does not go down. Simulation pauses. So we can spend as much time as we want planning out on the tech screen here. We've just unlocked underground and splitters. The next tech I'm probably going to take, like, nothing, no tech whatsoever is going to be immediately useful to me. But we do need to get into green science at some point. We do need to get into inserters at some point. The normal flow of the game is to, at this point, focus on setting up an automated process. We need to scale first, then automate into science. I don't see any need for any of these techs right now. The fast inserters are the number one most important thing in the longer term to get into of the stuff that we currently have available outside of steel and steel processing. 
for some of the more advanced items. We're not even going to be concerned with solar. The only reason why we would even make solar would be to get into satellites at the very end of the game. Assuming I need solar panels for satellites. <laughs> it's been a very long time since I've actually played through a vanilla playthrough without any gameplay altering mods at all, let alone without any quality of life mods as well. We will have to deal with enemies as well. So, military could be valuable. <laughs> Quite valuable. Getting the SMG is probably going to be the most important thing I do, really, if I want to defend myself. It's only 10. Electronics is 30 plus 30. 60 to get into that. 50 to get into steel. None of it's really important. We're going to pick up military first. Uh, and I'm going to now apparently grab iron from over here because I appear to be out of iron. Oh, and you need some glorious coal. Let's get all that going again. Come on. Reach! I need to reach! Okay, those are placed. Uh, I'm going to need to have this uh, copied there. Because uh, we actually need this done in a few iterations. So give me a lot and more than. A lot and even more. Coal. More power! More! More! We need more of the everything! There you go. Enjoy. So, what is going to be the most important? Oh boy, that's always the greatest of questions. Is it the iron or is it the copper? Uh, in the immediate term, it's going to be the iron. Uh, more so than the copper, but when we do start needing the copper, oh boy, we're going to need a lot of the copper. Uh, for now, though, uh, I know that when doing this, I am building out what will be the copper first. Oops. Uh, let's clear out some of this and start getting some of these undergrounds. So this horizontal coming in is going to be for... Uh, I don't need any of this, excuse me. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. Here I am thinking in the grand scheme. In the grand scheme, we're going to have a lot. Uh, two lines of 12. And then two lines of 24. Yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, nuts, I think is the official term. Nuts. We need a splitter here going down. Da-da! Uh, so, I can save... A unit of belt uh, on each side uh, by doing exactly that. So I will! And so I shall do that exact thing. I need more belt. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> as much as I would love to just bootstrap some very close by assembling machines we're not gonna do that oh no 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 as as much as i would love to just put some nearby assembling machines that's not gonna work out so well 
uh, because I'm going to end up blocking uh, rather important stuff. Uh, so for now, we're, we're going to handcraft a little bit longer. Uh, and I'm going to plan out where my mall is going to live. My mall is going to live... Right here. How big is this mall going to be? Let's say... I mean, my mall. My bus, excuse me. I've used the wrong term. It's going to be a mall, and it's going to be a bus. The mall is going to be the first thing on the bus. Uh, but it may need to be a little bit lower than this. Uh, in particular, because I'm going to need to have this uh, to 4, 8, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4. That is 24. No, that is 22. Uh, so that is how long these are going to end up being. Of course, it needs to be adjusted once I do get into glorious things. Uh, and the irony that the first item on my main bus is going to be the one that is on the opposite side. This is going to be iron and iron products. Maybe. This is going to be copper. Let's say four iron, four copper. From this direction. Give me more. M-O-A-R of the every... Thing. I said the everything. Copper will come down here. And this is going to be the official start of my automation on the main bus. You'll note that the science is not going yet. Uh, because that's going to come with time. Uh, do I have enough stuff to process that iron that's coming in. Yes, I do, as well as that copper. Good. For now, how is the power? The power is fine. And I am no longer needing any of the uh, input from these. I don't need it, but it's going to exist and fill up these inventories for the time being. I will also need one of these setups for making brick, stone brick, uh, and I need to provide stone in the long term. That will be in this set of four. We will have stone and stone bricks, as well as likely steel, two lines of steel. This next set is going to be green circuits followed by two lines for red and two lines for blue now i could choose to make a bunch of splitters which i shall do now uh, and build out What shall be uh, one more? Yes. Oh, goodness, I need more, more. Da da. The four way litter the poly n 
1 through 4 in to poly and out 1 through 4 balancer. Every single bit of belt and splitter in this entire thing is 100% necessary. So what is the first thing in our main bus that we are going to build? Well, the very first thing should be the green circuits, in my humblest of opinions. The reason being we need some of those green circuits. Uh, stuff on here, it's fluid, nothing is set as stone. I'll probably have the green circuits be here, and then the stone products, and etc. So the main issue with the main bus is that it is uh, a lot of resources. Whoops, did not mean to do those. I meant to do lots and lots and lots and lots and lots more belt segment. Uh, as well as some undergrounds. I need some undergrounds as well. Okay, let's place that. As sad as it is to just immediately... bring stuff off right after one of these belt balancers. We gotta do what we gotta do. Mm hmm. So, uh, I do want this area. That's why we have these stone bricks. This is a walkway that we shall not build upon. We will have power along the edge of this walkway. One, of, This is one of the reasons why I have what I have here. I do hope I have made some assembling machines. I have not made any assembling machines. Let us make some assembling machines at this point in time. And a few more after that. We are going to be first automating into our belt related stuff, because obviously we need all the belt on the planet. Then we are going to be automating into additional iron. We'll be bringing in additional iron. I will handcraft additional mining drills for additional iron and placing additional doohickeys here to get that additional iron, because it will absolutely be necessary, and then we'll be scaling from there and doing everything that we can to get into robots as quickly as humanly possible. Okay, you've been building all of that glorious stuff. I need to get into the things. I need to keep building. So, what is the point of having four lanes dedicated to a single thing. Well, it allows things to get evenly distributed across the entirety of the length of the bus. That is one of the main reasons. But you can do that with just one lane, and I'm not even getting a lane of input anyway. It's it's just a simple design to use, a simplistic way of bringing stuff out uh, of the bus in, a, in an organized fashion. If I had four full belts worth of input, for this, yeah, then it's needed and all of that good stuff. But what hap- what- like, but what if, right? What if I was going to spend an entire 15 items per second, an entire yellow belt of iron and copper making circuits, making a belt of circuits? What if I were to do that? Well, I would use an entire lane of these, right? Just an entire lane of these. So why then would I need to have four lanes continuing on down the line after this point? You don't. You don't. You're using one in its entirety to make your circuits. So you don't have to spend the additional resources adding in the fourth line if you're using one anymore at like after that point you, it, you can just terminate one it it's done you're using it and then that gets into the concept of well if i'm going to be using the one line anyway 
why is the one line coming to the main bus in the first place and why isn't it just making the uh, circuits to begin with outside of here? Exactly. So what we'll end up doing in the long term at scale is actually making these electronics separately. Now, I need to always remember we make two every half second and we need three every 1.2. Uh, so this was, what, two into three or something? I have I have completely forgotten uh, my ratios here uh, on this. So three uh, and two, or was it two and no? I'm I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that was it. I'm pretty sure uh, that was it. And uh, yeah, I do remember there being like throughput stuff as well. Uh, I am going to need to have long-handed inserters for the first time as well uh, because I'm going to need to bring in the iron there now three of these uh, da, 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 one two three per 1.2 actually 2.4 that we can do that math but I'm pretty sure we're we're gonna be fine no matter Whatsies. If I built it wrong, I built it wrong. So what? Uh, and that will go out. Uh, actually, I want you one more tile. Uh, reason being, I'm going to do something along those lines. Okay, we have our first green circuits, uh, and when it comes to the question of, well, what about gear wheels? The answer is, what did I just say about electronic circuits? <laughs> right? That, like, that's my, my point here. You spend a whole bunch of resources to get a set output of the circuits and you use up entire lines of stuff then why do you even have the other lines to begin with we're gonna make the gear wheels local i i have decided yes it is theoretically better you could throw two belts of iron plates into making a single belt of iron gear wheels and have the iron gear wheels on your main bus okay where are you getting those two belts of iron? Are they from here? They better not be. They better be supplied by their own independent lines of furnaces by that point. Speaking of which... Gear wheels will need to be a thing for my building pleasure. I'm going to input and output through regular thingies, and we're going to go down so that I have them for what I'm about to build down here. I'll need more than this in the grand scheme if I plan on expanding uh, out in specific directions with different things. This is going to look like a mall a little bit. Just a smidge. All right, so we have those. Uh, it would behoove me to do those as well, maybe? Or what about these? It's the same. It's the same. Okay, we're going to adjust as we go. But yeah, this is going to be a combined belt of gear wheels and circuits I, I guess 
that needs gear wheels. That's the only thing that needs gear wheels. Uh, that can... I don't know. Iron. Gear wheels. Up, down. I need chests. I need iron for chests. Let's actually take some of that. So I can quickly build more stuff. Build more stuff. Build more chests. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I need that that way. Could I do iron and thingies on a shared belt? Yeah. Yeah, and that can be there, and that can be long-handed input just fine. Yeah, and then you can be there, you can be there, you can be there, and that can split, go there, this goes down, just like that. Now give me more belt, more splitters. And more power as we go down. All right, let's get all of this powered up and going. I said all of this powered up and going. And that, my friends, will not quite be that. I gotta bring down the belt here. I need, I need an underground. Underground! I need an underground. belts. There you go. Alright. Good. You're gonna, you're gonna make thingies. Until you have that many thingies. And now, we need more Everything. Because, guess what? It is now time to scale our mining and smelting so that things can happen just a bit faster. With that, folks, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Ataku Shebot. If you have enjoyed today's video and the series thus far, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff down below. And I will see you all on the next one.